Okay, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the section box and rabbit. So if you just turn on the section box here, okay, you will see a section box will appear. And if you click the section box, you'll see that um, you can control it in six directions. So if you want to see a section of a 3D view from a certain floor level, you can use the top and the bottom one. And if you want to see the section from any of the sides, you can use any of the side arrows. So let's just zoom in a little bit and see if we can see some sort of sections. So if I cut the section box right there and I zoom in my model right over there, you'll see the sectional view of the 3D object right over there. You don't have to look at it in 2D, you can look at it in 3D. So that's the benefit of using a section box. Another thing is that when you click on your 3D space once again, and uh, you have the graphics option available here in the properties panel, what you can do is you can uh, deselect the section box once again, and then you can select it again. And when you do it, you can see that it reverts back to its original place. So Revit doesn't actually remember where the section box uh, last was before you um, turned it off. So that's a, that's a good thing. Another thing you can do is, let's say, if we just turn off the section box, let's just go to a certain, uh, let's go to the ground floor. Oops. Okay, so you want a section box between a certain location. Let's say I want a section box between this door and this door. So what do you do is you select both the doors and then in the modify tab in the view, you can see there's a selection box option. So if you just click on it, you can see that now a section box has been uh, created in 3D view showing only the area or the space covered between this door and this door that we had selected before. So you can use that to look at the 3D uh, properties of a certain location if you wanted to. All right, and just like any other section box, you get six handles to you know expand and uh, or shorten the area in six directions of it. And if you click on the 3D view again and click on uh, unclick the section box, and then you will get your uh, full 3D view once again. And if you click on the section box again, it will revert back to the whole view, not the not the simpler thing. Okay, so that's how you can use the section box in Autodesk Revit, and it is a very useful tool to have. So I hope you got to learn something new, and as always, thank you very much for watching.